Heroes and Legends, Generations 4, The Holy War. The electrical faction, now under the Orishian umbrella, were being led by Lord Bamuso and his right hand, Kaklen. As Kaklen encouraged Bamuso to build an army with troops and officers, Bamuso had previously dismissed these, but listening to reason, he followed Kaklen's advice. This was done, so he built his own force, not only to, to help his new lord and master, Nakubi, as he was greatly impressed by his power, but to finally get his revenge against the Pilderon who stole his home while he was away. So, they went to do the Orishian study work and attacked the elder forces on the near their border lines. He used his powerful might and enhanced abilities which he got from Levon Shenzhen and upgraded Bamusu and made him much stronger with nanobots which give him the power of thunder. And he was able to rock the house and decimate the elder forces. Parklan too was a powerful warrior and single-handedly routed several officers with his bare hands when he was completely surrounded. The electricons won a victory which they could be proud of. Elsewhere in the mentions, the civic insurance forces led by Lash confronted the Scotia, Hetama, formerly known as Red, led the Scotia who was also under the, the Eurasian umbrella, umbrella. Lash tried to reach out to his long lost friend, who had been separated when the Law faction fell, just prior to the Lord faction falling. Lash was stunned to see his friend, now not only having a name, but fighting and with a powerful staff with the symbol of the solution, the lantern, red. But Lash reached out to Red and said, Red, you're alive. What are you doing? Fighting for the Eurasians? Don't you know they're monsters? I can't believe after all this time, you sink so low as to allow the Scotia to fall to Eurasian. And Atama, being a powerful warrior, before the confrontation, defeated hundreds of thousands of Manican soldiers. Atama was impressed that all this time, Lash was the only one who still called him Red. He replied to his old friend, Lash, I know you are a strong man, and I know you are a wise man. And you could see the picture that is painted. You and I are on opposite sides now. Whatever friendship we have in the past cannot work now. We are in a war. A war to determine the fate of not only of these lands, but lands beyond. Fight me now. So Hatama was going to attack Lash. Lash didn't want to fight, but Lash had no choice. So he used his superior hand to hand combat to beat back and hold back Atama. Atama was stunned that Lash had grown his skills and he was even able to disarm him. Lash did not make a finishing move, however. He still called upon Red. Red, please hear my words. There's no need for us to fight. Let's you and I go and leave, leave this place. Leave this war behind us. We're tired together. We don't need to be fighting, old friend. Atama, out of respect for his old friend, and seeing that he'd been beaten fairly, decided to spare Lash's life this time. But the next time they meet, he will not be so merciful. And so Hetama left. Lash was dumbfounded, and he collapsed on his knees. 
hoping for the safety of his friend, and that one day they could join hands as brothers once more. Dogs were within the chaos. The Bilderman forces were on the move. The Cape Ballon, led by Stefan, is moving forward to fight off the mission forces that have been led by the Allen Group. Allen Jr. and Mr. Gray and Max Pond. The Allen Group was old and small. Stefan wanted to prove the might of the last Medoyan warrior in the universe and beat back the Eurasian hordes. Still, the forces came for the Allen forces. However, Stefan and his Medoyan forces and the help of Kibong Carboni forces worked together to beat back the Allen group, forcing them to retreat in embarrassment. Stefan knew that this war would be his last as he was aging and was growing weaker, but he had to remain strong. But he cannot rest until his Lord Emperor may emerge victorious over the other three kingdoms. As the fighting grows on, new players enter the stage of this war. New players such as the leader of the famed Infokoku, the same leader known as Sivana Almana Ah Lama. She is a powerful warrior and leader of a powerful group, such as group as Jurus Jurusa, a woman who could control water, and Marianne, who was the beastmaster. She is their boss, and she was hired by Nakubi to slay the elders, but they have failed. But this time, they make up for their uselessness in the past. They will attack the Builder Run instead. Savannah Al Alamo loved her son very dearly. Her son was known as Savio Alando, and she'll do anything to protect him. She didn't like the Builder Run making fun of him, so she ordered the rest of to use her powers to flood the entire battlefield, forcing the Pilgrim forces to retreat. The forces were led by Richard II and Benny of the Penta, Lacoupe, Miguel and Vivian of the Stellar Space, and Navarro of the Celton. They raced and climbed up the stairs, up the hills and on top of the buildings. Their faction, their fractured forces, Wet, soak, and cold, as majority of their forces lie drowning in the water. Savanya Alamo used his chance to strike them from the high grounds and used her superior might in the first ever battle to beat back the builder, forcing them to retreat. And with that, the builder were embarrassed and fled from the Rishian lands. Yeah, our, our Lama had proven her work, not only to herself and to her race, but also as a strong mother 